if you're searching for a relay that can control your lights or similar devices that can be installed either behind the wall switch or behind the light, there are tons of options. But not a lot of them have created products such as this one. Ever, a company from Denmark, has created a really nice device that can either work standalone or together with the add-on behind the wall switch. Today we will be looking at the Zigbee version of the Ever in-wall relay switch. Probably not a lot of you have heard about the company called Ever or EVVR, but this company has created some very nice devices, such as this interface, which really looks awesome, controllers, and different types of switches. Today we will be looking at this one, it's an in-wall relay switch. And it can work in a pair with the add-on, but it can also be used as a standalone device. While I was testing the device, even before it was added to Zigbee to MQTT, I was using this one as a standalone device. How does this device operate? You take this device here. There are two versions, Zigbee and Z-Wave. I've tested the Zigbee version. And you plug it in line or plug it between the power and neutral that is going to your light. Neutral wire comes here and then goes out towards the light. And same thing for the live wire, it goes in here and out here towards your light. You pair the device, and yes, it's been added to the Zigbee to MQTT, and no thanks to me, because while I was preparing the external converter, they themselves have already pushed the commit, and now it's officially supported via the Zigbee to MQTT. So it works like a typical Zigbee module. But what's fun is that you can use it with this switch. It operates in a similar way. You still do the same thing that you would do with this one. Live wire coming here, going towards the light. But then behind the switch, you remove wires from the switch. Use either switch 1 or switch 2 to connect the wires to the switch. And then you have a live wire going in and then a live wire going out. And this, this can be used in scenarios where inside the wall you do not have neutral wire. The installation itself is really easy. As you can see, all I had to do was just cut the wires that were going towards my lamp in my bathroom and then install the device on existing live and neutral wires. Same goes for the smart switch sub-assembly. What I did, I removed the switch cover from the switches I have and installed it instead of one of the switches. Yeah, the problem unfortunately for me is that I already have Shelly module there, so it was a bit of tight squeeze, but it is working. The question is, how do you add it to your home assistant? Go to your Zigbee to MQTT, click on permit join, and click on the pairing button on the top of the switch. And if everything is correct, you should now see new device. Friendly name is address, which we have to change for a name that will be used instead of home assistant. It was last seen now, end device, Zigbee module SRB01, manufacturer is EVER or EVVR, in wall relay switch supported, etc. Let's see what's exposed. We can control the state. And we have link quality. Let's see if Zigbee to MQTT will detect when I flip the switch. Yes, as you can see, it not just detects when I flip the switch, but it detects it really fast and sends it back to Home Assistant. And of course, after it was added to Home Assistant via Zigbee to MQTT, you can do whatever you want to do with it. You can add it to your automations, you can detect if the light was switched by the system or by the switch, for whatever reason you want to do that, and you can do that via the log entries, and also you can do whatever you else do with your lights inside Home Assistant. Is this device better than some other Zigbee devices? It is kind of similar. For example, some of them do work without the neutral wire, and I already did a couple of videos on them. This one does need neutral wire, but the genius part is that you already have the neutral wire where device is supposed to be installed, so close to the light bulb or in the junction box. 
The other good thing is that you may, but you also do not need to use the switch part. On one of my previous streams, we were comparing the size. Yes, comparing the sizes of this switch against the Shelly and against the Sonoff. And for both Shelly and the Sonoff, this relay is much smaller. That means that if you are looking for something that has to be very small, you can go for this device here. If you, for example, need four-way switches, you just need to add two sub-assemblies. But be careful, each of the end devices, so devices that you use switch on, has to have its own relay. For one sub-assembly, you can connect two relays, or minimum one. For four-way switch, you will need two sub-assemblies and four relays. Each load has to have its own relay. They also have one additional product that I haven't seen or tested. I've tested this Smart Relay and Smart Switch, but they also have Smart Relay Light and Smart Switch Light, which are even smaller, which is great if you are retrofitting this inside your old home or house, and you do not have enough space either behind the devices, lights, light bulbs, etc., or inside the wall behind the switches. The question is, where can you buy this product? Up until a couple of days ago, you were able to find them here on the website. Currently, they are not available, but you can go to where to buy. Here you can find authorized distributors for Europe, Middle East and Asia. And Amazon will start selling them, both in US and EU. When the shop is open, I will be leaving links down in the video description. As I mentioned, there are three types of the devices. There is a HomeKit version, and the current pre-order price for this device is $39.20, which includes, if I'm not mistaken, both this Smart Relay and this Smart Switch sub-assembly. For the Zigbee version, we currently do not have the price, but I think it was a little bit lower than the HomeKit version. Sure, you can find similar devices from Shelly, which are Wi-Fi devices, but also supported inside Home Assistant, with or without cloud. You can find Tuya compatible devices from various manufacturers that will work without cloud, local in Home Assistant if they are Zigbee version, or by using the cloud if they are Wi-Fi version. But as I mentioned, these devices are smaller than both Sonoff devices that we compared with. It was Sonoff Mate, if I'm not mistaken, and also Shelly devices. Both of those devices, Shelly and Sonoff, were a bit larger than this one here. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video. For the links to the EPVR or Ever products, go to the video description. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future video updates and of course the streams. If you did like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, because it not just means a lot to me, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, you can always leave comment down in the comment section below, or even better, go to the Discord server, where you will find me much more frequently. And before I end up this video, I really would like to thank personally each and every one of you who is supporting me and has become YouTube channel member. Thank you all for all of your support. But also thanks to everyone who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.